Today on How the World Crimps, we're going to learn to crimp Molex connectors like these. Uh, these are useful for PWM and CAN bus cables. In this case, it doubles as either, and you'll see if you're combining them, they just plug one into the other and they latch. So until you push down on that, it's not going to come out, and apparently even if you do, it's still a little hard. So first we want to start with our bare wire here. I untwist a little bit just to make it easier to, to strip the wire back. And before I say that, you should look at the terminal. We want to strip just the amount of wire to fit the copper in this second uh, little saddle area here. So this, this first one is going to hold insulation and then the second part's going to hold just the copper. So you just need to strip off a very tiny amount of wire. So this wire is 20 gauge. So I'm just going to take off a sm small amount if I get it in the wire stripper. That did not appear to work. Let's try 22. There we go. And I'll go ahead and do the other wire as well. So this would be a male crimp terminal for this series. This would be the female. We're going to start with the, the male. So we're just going to put the wire in the crimp. It's going to sit just about like that. So you can see the copper is in the second crimp area and the insulation is in the first. So this tool labeled Molex, this is the crimp tool. You'll notice it has two crimp areas. One's labeled 22 to 24, the other's 32 to 36. Uh, we're only dealing with 22 to 24 gauge terminals, so we'll use that. So put your finger on this red outer button and push, and then you can insert the terminal in here. I'll take the wire out just to show. And then you release, and now you can see the terminals right up in the crimp area. So we're going to take our wire and just position it as I showed before. And then you're going to crimp until the tool opens again. And you can see that is a good crimp right there. So as always, you want to pull test, and that's good. So I'll do the other terminal. And notice you want to have this open area facing up. So just like that. Okay, so now we're left with these two terminals crimped nicely. So before we put them into the housings, we want to just try and get back as many of these wraps as is feasible. And the wraps on this can wire helps the signal integrity, so you just want to maintain that. So for these mail terminals, you're going to use this housing. And the convention we have on our robot is that the green wire is going to be the triangle on this housing. You can see it right there. Try and point that out. So we want to make sure this green wire goes where that triangle is at. So that's our ground. So when I flip this terminal, the ground's going to be over here, actually over there. You're going to see there's a little latch on the terminal, and that's going to go into this hole right there. So we're going to try and listen for that to click in. And for these CAN bus wires, we want the yellow to go on the opposite side of this. So I'll do first the green wire, see if we can hear the click. Okay, so there's a little click and then just do a little pull test on it. Make sure it's not gonna come out. This other terminal is trying to go in sideways. You want that latch to face up so it can get stuck in that hole. So there, that clicked, do a pull test, and you can see we might be able to get another twist out of it. So there we go, we've got our male terminals. For the female terminals, you're gonna do the exact same type of crimp, except you're gonna use this housing in this housing, you can see the triangles right there, and that's where your green wire is going to go, or black in the case of a PWM cable. And that is the Molex terminal crimps.